Welcome back to a brand new episode of Master in Programming. In today's episode, I'll show you how you can use these and really cool animations which Swift UI provides through Xcode, and also how you can integrate them and customize them to your own um, standards. In order to follow up in this um, tutorial, you will simply need to have Xcode 11.1 .1 installed on your computer. Without talking too much, let's get right into it. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed my brand new intro. Without further talking, let's get into it. So in order to start, let's first remove this text because we will not need it, we will instead be creating a button. And let's straight away create a vStack. So I will come here and say vStack. And let's open it. And inside of the vStack, let's create a button. So I'll go ahead and type in button. And for now, we're not gonna give it an action. And let's go ahead and type in another bracket. And inside of here, we're gonna give the attributes of our button. So I'm going to say, press me as the text. And you can see that uh, the canvas updates automatically. And let's also give it some attributes such as colors. So I'm going to give it a foreground uh, color and that color will be red. Let's also give it a frame. And it, that frame will have a width of 200, a height of 200, and an alignment of being at the center, just like this. And you can see that there is a frame straight away created for our button. Next, we'll give that frame a color, and we're simply going to say background. And then we're going to say color dot blue because I want it to have a blue color just like in the preview and you're starting to see that it's kind of like looking like what I showed you at the start before the intro and let's give it a font of a title so it can be clear and yep that's exactly what I wanted next let's give it a radius and this is so it can have that curve I don't know if you can see it. yep that small curve so now that we finished of creating the button, let me introduce to you how you can use animations, which I guess is the point of this video. So I'm going to simply, um, there's two ways you can do this. You can either type the code or you can click on this plus button. You can check, you can keep going down and I'm going to go to animations. So I'm going to type in animations to find it. I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it over here. And inside of here, we're going to fill it in. I'm going to use Spring, and I'm going to the second one, so we can customize the response and everything. I'm going to double click it. And for the response, let's go ahead and put 0 0.5. For the damping force, let's put in 2. The blend duration, let's put in 0 0.5. So this is actually it for the animation. And now if you run this, let's just wait until the preview is done. Notice how nothing is actually happening. And nothing is happening because although we told it to use animation, we didn't tell it what to use that animation on. Nothing is changing. We didn't tell it to do anything. So to do that, we'll simply do the following. First of all, we want to change the color to green and we also want it to be a circle like we did in the preview. In order to do this, let's first create some stat stati static um, variables and we're going to say at state. And I'm going to make it a variable and I'm going to say O color. So this is going to be our color that will change. And we're going to initially have it as blue. And let's also create a private variable for our radius because we want that to change from being a curved box or a curved cube into making it a circle. And we're going to initially have it as 12. Next, let's come here, remove this, and simply type in O color, like this. And for the radius, let's come here and also change it to the O corner object that we declared earlier. Now, let's come to the action. And inside of here, we're actually going to be changing this, and I'll show you how we can do that. So first, let's call in our objects that we just created, and we're going to say self O color is equal to self. Dot o color 
and now we're going to say I'll explain this after I write it down with a question mark alright so let's go ahead and try understand the code that we just wrote this line says alright self color is equal to self color and now we're going to say if the color is already blue if someone presses on it it will change to green if it is green and someone presses on it again we're going to change it to blue so let's run this and see what happens let's just wait for the preview to be done Ooh, I forgot to press on resume let's give it a second alright now if we press on it realize how the color changes from blue to green and then to blue again and this will keep repeating every time you press on it but there's no changes to the curve because we didn't add that yet so all I'm going to do is simply copy this line and I'm going to paste it and here I'm going to say corner and here we're gonna start off initially by 12 then we're gonna move into 100 because that will make it a circle and if it's already a circle let's move back to 12 now let's run this and see what's going to happen and as you can see it's changing as we're pressing on it it's changing from blue to green to blue and also from being a curved cube to a circle to a cube that was all for this tutorial now i will definitely be making more tutorials uh talking about the animations and uh, all the new features that swift ui provides but for now that's all thank you for watching and please have a good day Thank you.